Hello, hello! Today we are going to learn about authors' reasons and evidence, why they say something and how they show it. So let's get to it! Here is Natalie. She is so excited in the morning because her mother had made her favorite lunch, grilled cheese sandwich, and it's in the brown paper bag and she's looking forward to eating it. Here it's class time and all she can think about, even during math or reading, is her lunch. And there comes lunchtime. Uh-oh, Natalie is sad. Look at the boys in the back eating their lunch and her lunch is missing. She thinks a little boy took it. So now she's going to look for evidence. And there she finds fingerprints. Now she is going to get some investigation done to find who took her stuff. So she is going to teach us about author's reasons and evidence. Natalie thinks a little boy took her lunch. What is the evidence? The fingerprints. What is the author's point? What is the author's reasoning? We are going to look at what the author is trying to tell you. What is the evidence for that reason? And what exactly is the author's reasoning? Why, what, and how? Let's apply this knowledge to this passage. So the reason is that TV is bad for kids. That's the author's reasoning. And the other reasoning is that books and games are good for kids. So the author begins by saying, there are many reasons why TV is bad for children. This is the author's reasoning. And the other reasoning is, in contrast, reading books to children or playing with them creates more family time. So these are the two reasonings. What is the text evidence? Can we find in the evidence why the author says something and how the reasons are supported? The author says that TV takes away family time. Here is an example of how. Children do not talk to parents while watching TV. That takes away family time. And why are books and games good for kids? Kids talk during games or reading. They interact with parents while playing games or while reading. They might have questions that they will ask parents. This you can find in paragraph 2. And the author also says kids get parent attention through books or games. Here the author says so. Also, kids feel like they are getting lots of attention while playing together. And that shows you the author's reasons and the evidence or proof. Whenever you read a passage in which the author is trying to prove something, find in the opening paragraph what is the author's point. And why does the author say so? And where in the passage does the author offer proof for the reasons? Now we have now that we have gathered this skill, let's apply this knowledge when we read a passage next time. More later. Bye-bye.